Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an interesting one. I'm going to be trying out some of my old favorites and some old products I used to use all the time. A lot of these products are kind of some of the classic staples from the beauty community. Some of them are just my old favorites, so it's a little combination of both. You'll obviously recognize which ones are which, probably. I wouldn't recommend doing this because a lot of these products are very old. This foundation is probably a couple years old. I wouldn't really put that on your skin. I'm gonna take this off right after I finish this video. So I don't know if I've seen anybody do this kind of video. If somebody else has done it, um, feel free to let me know. But it's just using my old favorites and using some old products from the past era of YouTube. And without further ado, I'm just gonna get into this video, show you how I achieved this um, interesting look, and hope you guys enjoy. So I'm home from school for the day because I want to see a show, The Symphony, with my mom. So I'm a little scared for this video, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, brought out some real gems. Who knows, maybe I'll rediscover something and it'll be amazing. So I think I'm gonna start with what I normally do, which is brows. I know you have quite a few brow products here that's an eyeliner. Brow, brow pencils, that's all I used to use. So I have three, and I have this um, L'Oreal brow gel that is probably almost gone, but it's the only brow gel I have that's not one that I currently use. So I think I'm going to go with CoverGirl. Um, brow and eye makers and soft brown is probably going to be too light, but let's just go in. I think I used to use this when I had lighter hair. Maybe I used it to fill in the front of my brows. I don't really know, but it's not dark enough, so I'm gonna use this NYX brow pencil in medium brown. I think this will be good. That's better. I apologize in advance for what my eyebrows are gonna look like because I use pomades usually. This is what we have concealer for though, right? This is messy. Oh my god, there's like smudging freaking everywhere. It's really hard I'm not having a lens that auto focuses. That's my next investment. Oh my god. Oh girl. I think we did a pretty solid job. I'm sorry if I go out of focus at all. I'm struggling. Alright, before I clean them up, I'm gonna try to set them with anything left in this little L'Oreal. Thing. I don't really this stuff lasted for freaking ever like I used it for so long so I think it's finally dead but I'm just taking this makeup off and going to bed after this anyway so this stuff does work really well though it's like a cheaper version of Kimmy Brown oh. <laughs> my eyebrows look dark so for concealer to clean them up um, the lightest one I have is my MAC Pro Longer Concealer that I used to use all the time in NW15 wow um, and I'm going to use just this little flat brush and I'm going to put it on the back of my hand because it's a little pump. Look how freaking filthy that is. Oh my goodness. A lot of this stuff is pretty old and I'm probably going to say that like a bazillion times in this video but like I don't know if I would try this at home. Clean those puppies right up because I don't want to set. I don't remember how long this stuff takes to set. And you know when you do like the bottoms and then you do the top of your brow and then the bottom part's set and you can't blend it out. I don't know if anybody else has that problem, but I do. Sometimes. Alright, those look okay. Um, I'm gonna do the eyes first because that's how I usually do it. Oh my god, I'm breaking out so much. I couldn't find a primer. Literally, like, all the ones I wanted to use. Like, my Urban Decay Primer Potion is at school. Forgot to take that home. All the other things I had were probably, I just, old or not what I wanted. So I'm just gonna use concealer. Another oldie, but a goodie, an LA Girl Pro Conceal in Light Ivory, just to prime and color correct my lids a little bit. And I'm going to blend it out with this Sephora Concealer Brush. So easy. And I'm going to use that same brush because what are rules? And go into the BH Day Night Palette. This is like... I don't know, I feel like 2012 everybody could use this and have this. It's... A staple so I'm gonna use it today and it has a lot of colors so maybe we'll do something fun um, so I'm gonna take this like bone color and just you know the drill set the primer and all that jazz 
take this color right here, it's a nice warm matte brown, and I'm gonna throw that into the uh, pigment, where you at? There is nothing I am. Girl. Maybe the pigment um, disappeared over the years. I don't know. Or this color is just really light. Or the palette never had pigment. Don't ask me. I'm just a small town girl. I'm not really a small town girl. I'm just trying to make it in this world with some pigmented eyeshadows. And today might not be that day. Alright, I'm going to take a little bit of a darker shade from, okay, this one right here. Oh my goodness, okay. We're going to need to do in a lot of layers in this look today because transition shade was a failure. Oh gosh. Try one more color. Oh, this one looks like it has some pigment. Okay, girl. Yes. A little better. Yeah, I'm not bashed in BH because they do have some amazing palettes. I do have other ones by them. They're super affordable. I guess part of the point of this video is to see if these products are any good still, so... We're getting an honest impression here because I really haven't used this stuff in so long. Let's pray for some pigment. I'm going to take this shade right here with a chocolate brown. I think I'm going to do a halo eye today because I just came up with that idea in my brain and it's happening. Girl, my under eyes. They're screaming for help. So if you don't know what a halo eye is, it's basically taking a color on the outer corner and inner corner and you put like a brighter or lighter contrasting color in the middle. Kind of connect them through the crease. Go in with this um, smaller brush. I think it's a crown brush, which is like it's like a smaller blending brush. It's kind of wonky from traveling or something. Just blend out the edges with that, because why not? I brought that one a little too high up, but you know, you live and you learn. There's actually a lot of really cool colors in this palette. I'm actually like so nostalgic right now, it's so strange. You know, this eye just doesn't like to blend sometimes, it's very strange. I don't know if it's my primer application or my just life, I don't, I don't know. Also, don't put your brushes in your mouth like I do. You know, sometimes I'm holding this palette, I'm just trying to multitask here. It's gross, and if you're a makeup artist, don't do this, your clients will probably cry. I don't know if you can see how patchy it is here. But it is, and I'm crying. I'm just taking some more light color and just blending it out. And then I'll take that smaller blending brush, oh god, this is awful, and go back over it. It also could be dry patches in my eye, you know, I'm a little bit of a mess sometimes. M411, and take an even darker color, it's like one shade or a couple shades darker than the brown I just used, and put that on the very outer and inner. Corners. I guess we're getting real dramatic up in here. Even though I don't have lash glue. Okay, we're looking pretty solid. And I'm gonna take whatever's left on that brush and just run it under the eyes, cause that's how I roll. And we'll clean that up later with concealer, don't worry. We ain't no messy bitch. I mean, maybe we are. I don't know. For the lid, I'm gonna do something fun. I'm gonna take this navy right here and put that on the middle of my lid and I'm gonna take this color, this cobalt blue, and put that in the middle middle of it, if that makes sense, like the very middle to make it pop. Where the pigment? Do I need to wet the brush? If it's a true good color, you won't have to. I'm just packing on layers, I'm just kind of patting it on. Actually, let me see what happens if I use my finger. It feels not great. Okay, so my memory card was full and it didn't show me putting on the whole um colors, so I just packed it on with my finger to get more color payoff. Just wet this little lip brush and I'm gonna take that other blue color, date wood right there, and put that on the middle of the lid if that's even gonna make a difference. Um, I'm gonna take an even lighter shade on that same brush and put that right in the middle just to make it pop. Um, I'm trying to find a good shade for it in this palette and there might not be one. Alright, scratch that. I think I gotta do an inner corner highlight of some sort. Found this like pinky, somewhat shimmery shade and I'm putting that, oh no, that was a bad idea. There's still blue on this brush. 
Well, there's no going back now. I'll put the cor uh, inner corner eyelid on after I conceal and fix this mess. We back on track. I'm sorry, guys. Like, you know, I haven't been filming recently. I'm really trying to get back into the swing of things, but I left my camera at home and didn't bring it to school. So I haven't had anything to film, and I had a video that I was going to put up, but... I was just not feeling it, it was not my best work, and I was so out of frame like the whole time, so I just didn't have the best setup for it, so. Anyway, I'm scared to use this, not gonna lie. It's the Physician's Formula Eye Booster, I don't know if you guys remember, but a lot of people used to use this. And it's shiny, because I swatched it on my hand to make sure I still have product left. I'm just gonna, you know, whip out a wing with this, hopefully. Okay, it's pretty easy to use. It's a brush tip, which is the best. Okay, I gotta see if I can match this other eye to it. I really hope I can. <laughs> Got some pretty massive wings going on. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna make up for that with no lashes, but we'll just pretend. I look really crazy right now. I'm gonna put some mascara on. I'm using the Maybelline Lash, Lash Sensational. I haven't talked about it on my channel yet, but I love it. It's a very, very, very good drugstore mascara. So we're just gonna curl up these bad boys. This is kind of turning into a disaster, not gonna lie, but you know, I think those videos are kind of fun to watch, personally. And, of course, I got mascara on my eyelid. I love my... God, these wings are awful. I don't know if I was just going, like, liner happy, or like, what? Because it's so easy to draw, I just kept going. This one looks fine, but this side's a little wonky. And I cleaned it up with the concealer, and it's still not great, but... You win some, you lose most. I'm not being negative Nancy up in here. I'm just being realistic. Oh, Kurt. I mean, this mascara really gives volume and length and separation. The more you put on, the less separation you get, but I still think it makes my lashes look pretty for a Rickin' Bomb. I'm gonna look so much better when I put my face makeup on because this blue fallout is making me look dead. And for eyeliner, I have this one by, I don't know what brand it is. It's from when I used to go to, um... A beauty show in New York, we got these like random ass liners. So, guess what I'm using today? I'm sorry, I'm looking in the viewfinder trying to be in focus. The struggle's real, this is really sharp, but it's so black. Like, girl, damn. I wish I could find the brand, but there's literally no way. Like, all it says on there is freaking um, black K1 coal eyeliner. Like, there's no, nothing that will signify a brand so sorry but there are definitely better ones why isn't I working on the side honey what are you doing there we go okay so that's the eye look I probably put some more mascara on off camera honestly it's not too bad sorry if you can see this mirror I had to relocate my camera so that you could actually see me uh, I'm gonna move on to my face gosh I'm, this is the worst part because my skin's a little bit sensitive um, this is a relic um, I have this Tarte Clean Slate Poreless Primer that, um, this is from NOM, like, there's, might not be anything left, I don't even know why I use this, my pores were not existent when I used this, but now they are, so, it should be good for me. So it's pretty much like the Benefit Professional, which I used to use too, but I don't have any of that, so, okay, I squeezed a good amount on, it's like a silicone primer, so this should work for me right now, with my skin. Hopefully it doesn't just rub off. Ooh, that's a lot of my nose. Oh my god, this mirror is bothering me and I'm not even watching this video. I'm just filming it. I'm sorry. I have nothing else to do. Oh my god, my skin looks so bad right now. Mm, this is a huge struggle. Oh god, I can't do this. There we go. Now it's just a little corner. Oh my god, this feels so, like... <laughs> I'm using the CoverGirl Owl Last Day Fabulous. I used to use this all the time. I think this shade actually will match me. Um, if I can get any product out of this crusted ass lid. Oh my god. I'm scared it's gonna explode. <gasps> okay. Whew, I'm scared. This has a primer built in, but I still used a primer because, you know, I don't believe that this is a foundation concealer and I don't know. I haven't used it in ages, so I could be wrong I could end up loving it but also I don't recommend putting old foundation on your face doing it for the vine this is another OG it's a Stila flat angle Stila Sigma flat angle kabuki F88 remember when everybody used to use Sigma those were the days 
Oh god, I think this is gonna oxidize really badly on me, I just realized, because I am a pale bitch right now. Okay, not bad. I'm gonna need some more for coverage reasons, but not terrible. It doesn't seem to be clean and clear. Dry patches. Oh, yikes. It's not looking great on my forehead. My forehead does have a lot of dry patches, though. Even though I did exfoliate, I just have really, like, some parts of my skin are just fucking dry. Yeah, this primer, it's helping with my nose. My forehead pores are still kind of the same, but what else? Ooh, that was a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna put some more on my cheeks. There we go. There's the coverage. I mean, uh, y'all know me. I'm not a foundation wearing girl. I'm trying to get back into it because, you know, filming full face looks and stuff. And, um, you know, trying out new products, but on a day to day basis. I don't even wear any makeup in school because I can't be bothered. Foundation, snatch. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. I want you to be able to see it. Yeah, that actually matched me pretty nicely. Cool. I'm going to do concealer, and I don't know. I think I'm gonna mix the CoverGirl and the Mac. Uh, CoverGirl, Jesus. LA Girl and Mac under my eyes because the LA Girl is gonna be too dark. Yeah. This is an OG though. Like y'all remember how good this stuff is? God. And the Mac. Oh god. Please don't explode. Don't try this at home, kids. Oh, oh okay. Cool. Perfect. <laughs> so what I'm using to blend that in is a Morphe E12, which is one of my favorite brushes for concealer, under eye area concealer. Oh my god, this is going to make such a difference, like, if the, in this look, because of that blue for freaking fallout. Wow, my skin actually looks pretty decent. So I'm using the e.l.f. under eye high definition under eye setting powder. This stuff used to be the shit. It's like got sparkles in it. I don't know if y'all remember it, but... Oh, there she is. My Morphe M500, which is like a basically a toilet brush. And... Just setting under the eyes with her. I'm not gonna do any baking or anything because this stuff is probably not the best for that. So I'm going to throw a little bit of concealer on my, you know, spots. Same brush to blend that in. Um, I'm going to set this with this old ass freaking Clinique powder. I'm going to get a new one of these soon. It's just like a press powder. I think it's translucent. So I'm going to press or swipe that all over my face. You know the drill. Now this is scary. I'm going to bronze. I don't have anything really to contour with, so... Taking this Rimmel Natural Bronzer that I used to use. It's pretty, it's kind of like Laguna, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little less shimmery. Take it on this Sephora powder brush. This might be too light. I didn't know it was possible. No, oh, this is gonna be a nice little wash of color. It's actually good because I'm really. I always end up putting too much bronzer on, so having to build it up is actually probably better for me. God, my makeup is looking pretty terrible, I'm not going to lie. <sighs> my brows and my eyes. The skin looks pretty alright. I'm just going to throw that on the side of the nose, just, you know, casually. Just to add some color. And I guess a little bit on the jaw because... I don't know if you guys remember, but I definitely use this on my channel. Well dressed by Mac. It's the old pa uh, packaging. It's one of the first Mac products I probably ever bought. Sorry, I'm out of frame. I'm looking for a brush. I'm just gonna use this Duo Fiber brush from Crown. It's actually light pink color, so I think it'll be pretty. It's really not showing up. Actually, this might be too light. It's kind of. I don't know. It's giving me a weird vibe. Like it doesn't really look like, kind of just looks like really light shimmer on my cheeks. Not the best look for me. Just, it doesn't, it looks kind of natural but not in the way that I want because there's shimmer. I don't, I don't really like it. Alright, I'm almost done y'all, I promise. Um, okay, so I'm taking my MAC 
porcelain pink highlighter. I used to use this stuff. It's actually gorgeous, so I ain't mad at it. I'm taking a Morphe M501 because that's the best highlighting brush. And just gonna put that on my cheekbones and everywhere else. It's really pretty, it's pretty subtle, but it's actually so gorgeous. So, you know, I'm gonna pack that on. Oh my god, it's actually oh, so pretty. I'm using another brush to put that on my brow bone. Oh goodness, this eyeshadow is a hot mess. It goes to show what the difference of quality, the quality of the eyeshadow really makes. So if you can't really blend it, then you're not going to get a good look. Okay, wow. Now we're going on to the lips. Um, man, I used to be obsessed with these. I had like 20 of them. It's the NYX Butter Lipsticks. And I just had a few colors because I didn't know what I'd be doing with my eyes. And none of these colors really go. I'm just going to take the pink. This is in the color Sweet Tart. I got rid of a lot of them because I never use them. I did kind of purge my makeup. Oh, God. You know what? We're gonna go with it. These are actually a super nice formula. They don't last long, but they're really creamy and pigmented. Uh, so. You know. And they have some nice colors, but oh god, I look, I look like I'm from the 80s. Which can be a good thing, can be a bad thing. I'm gonna see if I can find a gloss. <laughs> so, speaking of the butter theme, this is the butter gloss in Angel Food Cake. I think this is my favorite shade. These are actually amazing. It smells so good. But I don't really wear gloss often, but. It should neutralize that color. It should. This is gonna get all over my teeth. That's the bad thing about creamy lip products. They get everywhere. Let me do a little final look for y'all. So, this is what we ended up with. Oh god, this is getting. Oh god. You see this? Yeah, I can't do gloss. That is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. It was quite an experience revisiting my past and you know all the old things I used to use and love and kind of getting another little first impression of them. Um, figuring out if I like them and realizing why I stopped using some of them. Like this freaking brow product. Like it's if I touch it, it's gonna go everywhere. That's why I use pomades because your girl's eyebrows go through a lot sometimes, you know. And a lot of anxiety on my teeth. It's making my teeth look yellow. Okay. But yeah, so make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. My social media links will be down below. The products will be listed down below. And until next time, I will see you guys very soon. Bye.